Hey, time travelers. Hello, humans. In a previous video, my dad sent me this selection of hot sauces from around the world. From... Not actually. Now, we're going to be trying every single one of them on some chicken tonight. I baked some chicken. There's nothing on it. Just we're going to put some salt and the hot sauce. And the brand is Modern Gourmet. I found one on e Amazon that's a 30 pack, but I have a 20 pack here. Whatever. There's only 27 chicken wings here, and there's 20 wings. You so, need sauces? Uh, yeah. Derp. <laughs> there's 20 sauces. So you have to put more than one sauce on a chicken. So, like, try it on one side and then try another sauce on the other side. First one, and I'm not going to spend very long on each sauce so that we can get through this video, obviously. Or you, you can use a bunch of sauce on the ones that you really, really like. That's a good idea. This first one's called Smokin' Jamaican. It smells smoky. There you go. Oh, these are tiny bottles. It smells weird. That one's tasty. Not hot. Next one's called Hot Fez. I don't smell much of anything in that one. I don't taste much of anything either. He's already gone through his first piece of chicken. Here. Try some Hot Fez. That didn't taste like anything, really. <laughs> and this one's called Indian Tiger Blood. Gross. Slow down so I can put some Indian Tiger Blood on the other side of that chicken. Sure. Okay. Like I said, we don't have as many wings as we have sauces. All right. It smells a tiny bit smoky like the other first one did. Indian Tiger Blood. Don't burn her like a whole bunch. You gotta go slow, guy. <laughs> okay. Nah. It's okay. It tears through that chicken wing. It's like I'm gonna get less chicken than him tonight because he's just like. <laughs> Texas Smoky Chipotle Sauce. Ooh, Chipotle. I like Chipotle. It's because it's not spicy. <laughs> you always eat chicken that fast. It's crazy. <laughs> this tastes like what Tabasco tastes like when it starts to go bad. Oh. But in a good way. <laughs> What's that mean? <laughs> Slow down. What do you think about that one? Pretty decent. Yeah. Egyptian fire scarab sauce. Now with more scarabs. That's a bug, by the way. Oh, scarabs are a bug? Yeah. Okay. But it's just a joke. There's no real scarabs. No scarabs were hard in the making of these around the world hot sauces. Alright, see, so I put a tiny bit. You put a tiny bit. What was that scarab? Egyptian fire scarab. Not a very good flavor. <laughs> I can't find it. No time! No time! Hawaiian lava flow hot sauce. That doesn't sound... Mmm. Smells good. <laughs> yeah. Let's see how evil it tastes. That's a tasty one, though. Yeah, it is. That's one that you make you want to get some more. Bourbon pepper hot sauce. You're like a dinosaur. I look like a dinosaur? Sound. Oh. Sound. He is a time traveler, so maybe he got stuck in dinosaur times. No. And he came back with explicit knowledge. Everybody knows what a dinosaur sounds like. How? Were you there? No. <laughs> or they think they know. Alright, bourbon pepper hot sauce. That's decent. It's not hot. It's pretty hasty, though. Ugh. Can't wait to get down to the third row where I didn't push them all the way back into the clamshell pack. Stay yeah. golden, California hot sauce. I, I hear... America. America. That one's just sweet. That's why I put a little on it, because it didn't look evil. Ugh. You don't like that? No. He's like, no. I don't like sweet on that. You don't like sweet hot sauce. Tastes like artificial. I know, right? Like, ugh. Has weird tastes. So all the other flavors are fine so far. Jala Green or Hala Green? Indian Training Company. <laughs> you got these like pretend brands. Ooh, this one smells like it's got vinegar in it. I want. I like vinegar. All right, Jala Green. Mmm. That's tangy. 
I think I'm going to call this video Hot Sauces from Around the World, apparently. <laughs> do, you, do you like that jolly green? You're devouring that chicken. Yeah. Mexican style hot sauce. Got a real Mexican like artwork going on. Hmm. There you go. That's barely a flavor. I just realized I'm still wearing a costume from the Emo Me episode. <laughs> Get subscribed if you want to see sci-fi episode where a weird emo version of me showed up. And we had like this weird fight argument thing. It's going to be very funny. Yeah, he helped me write some of it. Alright. Mayan ruins. Hot sauce. Get me a chicken. Smells sweet like some of the others. Here you go. I know, I'll put too much. It's, <laughs> it's so easy to do that. What do you think? It's barely there for me. Yeah. It's like the, the ones that barely have a flavor. They all taste the same to me. They're like slightly different from each other. But I think that's because our tolerance is so high, right? And also they may just not have flavor at all. <laughs> Maybe they have the one base and they add seasonings a different way for each one. All right. Cuban Fuego. Here you go. Another one is barely there for me. But it's kind of tart. I like the tartness. Yeah, that's decent, but not the other one. There's people that... That like hot sauce, but they don't like it crazy hot. You probably like this set. Now this one is the funniest one of all. My outback is burning, so it's like got like a kangaroo, like it's Australian, but they mean outback. Like some hot sauces burn on the way out, kind of thing. K. <laughs> He's like K. Make make your butthole hurt. hurt. They make you sharp, kind of. It barely has a smell, so I doubt that it's gonna hurt my outback. <laughs> It's not gonna hurt my big butt. My big butt. No? It's too sweet to hurt about outback. The next one's called Dragon's Breath. Garlic hot sauce. Hmm. I hope it tastes like garlic. If you like seeing us do random things, get subscribed. I like taking whatever happens to me in my life and making a vlog about it, you know? That is better than being Instagrammable. Instagrammable. Because those things are kind of lame. You may not think so, but we do. Next one's called Rio de Janeiro Carnival. Habanero hot sauce. Finally, habanero. Yay! It smells pretty good. It's probably one of the ones that I want again. Yeah, I want more of that. That's good stuff. And it's a little bit smoky, too. You like it? He obviously like it, likes it, because he's just like... Rah, rah, rah. It's not that spicy, but it's good. For us. Those things I got up there, the hot sauces... We've been milling our tolerance up. So a generic or off the wall or whatever this is, habanero sauce is probably going to barely hit our taste buds. Dude, we want some more of that. Look at that. More. Oh, more. The next one is authentic spice thigh pepper sauce. Finally got his taste buds. For like five seconds. <laughs> that one's thick. Yeah, that's a chunky one. It's mild, but has a better flavor than the other mild ones. You agree? Yeah. Oh, this one says it's hot on it in Spanish. So that must mean it is hot. It's got upside down exclamation point and everything. <laughs> it says, Cayente! Jalapeno salsa picante! I'm not being racist. I like Mexican culture. Hmm. I grew up in Arizona, and that's how I got some of that accent. Oh, yeah. Seven I can taste the jalapeno in that one. This is another one of the mild ones that actually tastes good. Baja Heat Mango. Habanero. So habanero and mango. Hot and sweet, same time. Ooh, and it smells it, too. It smells it. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> oh, my God, that's good. Okay. Purposely spill a bunch. <laughs> I want some more of that one. It's sweet, but it's spicy or something. And the next one's made from elephants, or inspired by elephants, or something. <laughs> called Fire Tusk. It's not made of elephants. That would be illegal. <laughs> probably. <laughs> He's like, paused, probably. Of course it's not made of elephants. Why would it be at a thrift store? <laughs> All right, fire tusk. I didn't like that one. That's one of the mild 
sweet one, right? It's a nugget. It's a nugget. One more. And it's called Death Valley Rattler Hot Sauce. So is it going to be extra hot? I hope so. Because Death Valley is the hottest place in the world, almost. But not all the time. It tastes good, but it's not hot to me. So it's the average temperatures of Death Valley. It's Death Valley at night. It's 60 degrees out. <laughs> in freedom units. It's Fahrenheit to anybody who doesn't get the joke. Not very hot, is it? No. Hey, it's future us pausing the, the eating of the chicken just to bring to you dad joke time. Dad joke time is brought to you by birthday card from my dad, his grandpa, to him. Grandpa, I didn't know whether you wanted a Cadillac, a Jaguar, a Thunderbird, or a BMW for your birthday. So here's the shiny new Lincoln. Enjoy. What did actually, yeah, is... Yeah, what did he write? What did Grandpa write down there? Actually, it is not new. It's from 2008. Signed. Signed. Grandpa McDonald. Number Just one. Grandpa McDonald? Yeah. <laughs> Let me change these glasses for this random thing. I keep these tigeons in here. Tigeon? Tigeons. Yeah. But now, enjoy this random thing. I keep my tigeon glasses in here. Yes, Tijin. There's a joke on here. I'm going to read in a second. It says, Story of your eyes. It literally says, Story of your eyes. You know, I think these Chinese manufacturers, they have a good idea sometimes with their marketing, but the translation is just completely lost. Yeah, what does that even mean? <laughs> Story. Well, I'm going to tell you something. Greatly reduce your headaches with blue blocking glasses, and these are like sub $35. Link in the description. And the ones you've been seeing me wear most of the time in my recent videos are more expensive. These are actually Kingston, a memory brand. They look like normal glasses. Yeah, but they're not. They're just blue blocking. That's all they do. All right, so back to past slash stuffing our faces with chicken, us. Thanks for watching. His mouth is full. He's been Elemental Place. I've been Robert Jean. My mouth has been full? Oh, you can't talk? All right, who have you been? I went to a place. I'm Robert Jean. Thanks for watching the video. Here's some other stuff for you to watch. My dad isn't in a good condition right now. I'm not in a good condition? Nope. That's because I've been filming all day. I'm tired. <laughs>